Welcome back, everybody. This is now on TTT Talk City 91.1 FM and on Facebook as well. I want to chat this morning with young golfer Sarah Ramphal, who is going to tell us a little bit about some of the things that she's done over her short career so far. But before we do that, I want to play this video. I was able to catch up with her father, Vidya Ramphal, yesterday, who was at the Talk City studio. And here's what he said about his daughter. Well, my role with her is, is very minimal. I'm just a driver. I pick her up, I take her to the golf course, I bring her back home. Uh, when she is allowed to have a caddy, I push the cart. However, she's the one that makes all the decisions when it comes to, um, to club selection, uh, how to read the wind, how to read the slope. She does all of that. I mean, we've known for some time, uh, all of those involved with her in golf know that she's had great potential. It hasn't always translated into great scores. However, over the weekend, I mean, everything just broke and uh, 69 at the Shagaramas course is, is a great score. It's a great score anywhere, but especially at Shagaramas where the conditions were very difficult this weekend. And I think we're, we're all very proud of her. Uh, but if you want to look uh, to peel back the curtain and look for the wizard, it would have to be Chris Richards, uh, her coach. He's done an amazing job with her over the past few years, picking up from Mitchum Jasper, who was her coach before that. And these two have really fashioned a really fine athlete, and I'm really proud to see what she's done. And I uh, hope that this uh, score of 69 is uh, going to take her further forward, and she can produce many more of these in the future. And yesterday, video was telling me that his daughter, Sarah Rampal, who is with me, was nervous, but he is the one pacing up and down in the studio. I, I, I don't know what's happening this morning with video. Anyways, let's take the discussion away from him. Sarah, welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I want to start with your most recent accomplishment. I understand you shot 69 to win the Radha Alexander tournament over the weekend in Chagaramas yes, on I a did. difficult course. What was that like? Um, well, first, I want to give credit to the Shagaramas Golf Club and for having the course in such great condition and for having the tournament. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to give credit to all the winners, especially um, Mr. Neil Lutchman Singh, um, winner of the men's championship. Um, as for the 69, um, that was an incredible score. That day, I was just really, really focused. Um, Everything just clicked and went well for me. Um, I hit a lot of fairways, I hit a lot of greens in regulation, and I, um, I sank a lot of putts. You know, all these are vital things to shoot really good scores in golf. Yeah, do you know I'm a golfer too? You, uh, I tried yeah. my hand at it over the weekend, <laughs> but I'm definitely not as good as you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but your father, he has been supporting you as you just heard him there. Yes. What role do your parents play? Well, my parents, they separated um, when I was very young. But even though things didn't work out for them, they still stood by my side and supported me um, in everything that I did, 100%. And that is important, that uh, is. to get the support. That is. Yeah. I know in some, some cases, they, when there is that split, uh, you know, yeah. there is a rift. And, you know, there's either one or the other you have to choose. But I, I'm happy that you aren't in a situation like that and you're able to have support from both sides which i'm sure is important and yes. has contributed to your success it so is, far it is all right well there is a video that i want uh to play now it is with you doing a trick shot is, yes. is that what it's called a trick shot yeah it's um the keep ups with the golf ball yeah so i know we have that queued up let's take a look I definitely can't do that, but that, that is amazing for you to be able to, to balance and, and get the ball to, to bounce off. Uh, how did you learn to do that? Well, it all started with, um, with my first practice session with the national team. Um, that day I wasn't playing very well. I was really, really disappointed um, with my performance. But one of my teammates, mm -hmm. Liam Bryden, he, he saw that and you know, he saw how disappointed I was and he decided to, you know, cheer me up and um, show me how to do the keep ups. And I thought that was a really, really nice gesture of him. So since then, I've been practicing it to um, sharpen my hand eye coordination and, and everything else. And the next time you're here, you're going to teach me how to do those things, I will, right? Yes. I, I will try not to damage anything in the <laughs> studio, but you will definitely have to teach me how to do that. But over the years, it hasn't always been smooth sailing for you. I understand in September 2016, uh, you suffered a, a hip injury. 
Yes, I had sacritis. That's when the hips are misaligned. Um, during that period, it was really, really tough. It was a lot of pain I went through. Um, and also during that time, I had the Zika virus, and I was going through a growth spurt. So that put a lot of pressure on my, uh, my back and my hip area. It came a point where I couldn't even walk. The slightest bend, I couldn't even do. I had to walk inches by inches. Um, one time I was in school and I had to be rushed to the hospital um, because, because it was just so painful. I, couldn't, I just couldn't um, focus or do anything. But you were able to, to come out on top and you're doing what you love. Yes, yes. Um, even though I was out for eight months, I went through several, several um, months with my physiotherapist doing um, therapy to get back on track. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that experience for me, it helped me um, realize what I wanted to do. You know, I, want, I always loved learning about the body and uh, learning how to strengthen it. And through that experience, I, um, I decided to do kinesiology, kinesiology so mm -hmm. I can, you know, help others as well. Uh, well, for, I, am, I was told that you are not the typical athlete in that... <laughs> For your 16th birthday last year, you didn't want to celebrate with a party. You wanted something else. What was that? I got baptized on my 16th birthday. Ah. Um, what made me do that was I was fed up of losing. I, was, I had some bad ways. I had some bad habits. I really didn't like it. I, and I wasn't proud of it. Um, I just wanted to change. And most people, they turn to religion. So I, I wanted to try it out. Let's see how this works. And after committing myself to, to the good Lord, um, after that I have had many successes. The 69 is one of them. And yeah. I've been traveling since then, and it's been a great experience for me. So what next for you? Next, um, I plan to, well, I applied at UTT um, mm -hmm. to study um, sports science, to do a certificate in that. And I, well, I hope to be accepted. And I want to wish you all the best and hope you are accepted. But one other question I have for you. Do you think uh, local golf gets enough coverage? No, it doesn't. And um, Because when, when you look at the sports news, all you see is the three, and football, three big yeah. um, things, and athletics as well. And um, I really hope to see that change because um, especially not only attention to golf itself but female um, female golfers and female athletes in general I think mm -hmm. that that should be something um, to change and I hope to see that in the future to come and I hope so too because we talk about diversity and sports is something that we can definitely tap into not just cricket and football and athletics but golf as well yes. thank you very much Sarah Ramphal for coming in and sharing a story with us I think it's important for young people to see young people uh, be successful and yeah, it wasn't smooth sailing for you, but you were able to come out on top, and that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. This is now on TTT. Lisa Wickham, she is standing by. <laughs> what do you have for me now? What a lovely interview, Rishi. I totally enjoyed it. Yeah. Congratulations. Impressive, you, isn't Sarah. it? Very impressive. Yeah. And I know that you'll see more golf, if not anywhere else, definitely on this show, because Rishi has taken up golf. Yes, so that is I my know that will be keeping close tabs on what's happening in the golf fraternity. And maybe, who knows, maybe I might take up the club myself.